George Ezra in the morning, bit of toast, bit of food toast to get the morning started. It is absolutely, turn that down a bit further, it is horrible out there, but I wanted to show you my new little spec window seat, even though it's pouring down with rain. Lots of brightness in my life, lots of space for creativity, and a smile on my face. I'm gonna pause that, it's getting on my nerves. So, I had a bit of an office move round, and the idea being this, I wanted a camera in permanent position so I could have a more frequent chat. So when I'm ready to go, something comes into my head, I can literally press record. Whereas previously, the setup, although also being very dark about it, I'll show you a guided tour around very, very shortly, but I was in a very dark and miserable corner, which often led to a dark and miserable mood, but there was no camera setup. So it was always a case of, and it might sound uh, like a very small minor detail, but to set up tripods, to set up microphones, to set up getting the memory cards in and all the rest of it, often that thought comes into your mind, the idea, and then you think about the setting up of the camera and all the rest of it, and you think, do you know what? I'll give it a miss. Let me just have a bite of my breakfast before it goes cold. So, I thought, right, I'll move the office round, and I'll do exactly that. I'll put this in. I've got a window seat, even though I'm looking at an ugly car park. Traffic going past. Bit of sunshine. Brilliant, can't wait. But I have to go a bit further than that. I've brought some speakers in, a bit of music on. I love golf, I love music, I love football. They're all my three, they're my three passions in life. So music on, then I've set up all to my right, you'll see shortly, full charging station for all the kit, drones, cameras, laptops. So I'm literally ready to go at any minute. It's like, you don't realise seriously how organised you need to be to be creating YouTube videos. and. It is honestly the amount, just the amount of batteries you need to charge, the amount of kit that you need to have ready. So again, generally I'll have a few bits here, a few bits in the car, and a few bits left at home. And you know what happens is that every time you go out, the one bit that you need, you'll have left either in the home or in the car or in here. It'll be somewhere where it shouldn't be. So again, I'm bringing everything into one place. Um, so yeah, I'm really loving this little space at the moment and like I said the idea is I'm going to switch the camera on on a more frequent basis when a thought comes into my head uh, relating to golf obviously we'll have a little bit of a natter and I'll, I'll maybe film two or three of those clips four of those clips whatever it equates to and then I'll put out a video a little bit of a chat like this and I'll put out mainly I'm trying to get back to something that's gonna come out on a weekly basis. So I don't wanna commit, I had the Thursday night show, which I loved, but it really wore me down because I always had to commit to that date. I don't wanna be as I don't wanna be as tight and as strict as that, but I wanna put something out on a more frequent basis where we can have a bit of a general natter, because I love all this bit. I did a video yesterday, and again, I've gotta thank everyone for the, uh, it was about Rory, did he have a bit of a meltdown? Was it nerves that got to him in his final day on the Masters? And the response is brilliant. You know, the comments that come in, it's two and a half thousand views, which is fantastic. It's not, you know, it's not 20,000 views, but it's a great, I love this core audience. It's the same people that get involved. And, and again, thanks for that in the comments. They get involved every time I put a video out. And this kind of discussion stuff, I really enjoy. I enjoy it personally. Um, sometimes the debates if you're a little bit if it's a, if it's a little bit controversial in the past it can upset a few people i suppose but i hope i love having an opinion and i love hearing others opinions i'm never offended by opinions i'm offended by abuse but never by opinion so i love this kind of thing so hopefully it'll create more of a regular debate a couple of things i want to say before i are they in shot they're hidden away a bit at the moment i want to apologize first of all to ben ross and that is because 
Um, several weeks ago now, they sent me um, driver irons hybrid. Oh, let's have a quick look at that hybrid. Can we get that in focus? Can we get it in focus? I think it's in focus. Anyway, great looking hybrid and uh, fairway wood that is under there. They sent me this new range, this Evolution R, the driver irons, um, fairway, whatever. I've done the video for the irons, I've put that out already. But these other three clubs I really wanted to do for my reviews of new products now, I want to do on course testing, as you know, that seems to again been really, really popular. And the weather has been horrific. So to Ben Ross, I apologize, it has been longer, it's probably past your launch date, and it's probably not what you wanted from the reviews. So like I said, I'm sorry, but I want to do the reviews properly and I want to give the club ample opportunity to perform. And out there on the golf course, because that's what everybody seems to like. Dry ball data, yes, but then mixed in with out there on the course. So that's what I'm waiting for, that's been the delay. And yet again, I look out the window today, it's absolutely pouring down and having a massive effect on the golf that's being played, in the UK at least anyway. I just pause this for a minute. Well, it's toast because I don't like it going cold. So, next thing I want to talk about is on Thursday, weather permitting, I'm going to play my first um, handicap qualifier of the year, the season, midweek comp. Um, and no doubt a lot of you will have started maybe already in the last couple of weeks playing your first sort of starts to the season in terms of um, handicap qualifying competitions. So what I wanted to do was this. I started thinking about, I'm playing Thursday, my handicap is 8, 8.1 at the moment, and I've been on the slide the last couple of years, really struggled in terms of practice and to play proper golf and regular. So I tried, I, I made a suggestion early part of last year I was gonna make an effort, and I probably didn't quite get there, but already this year I've spent a little bit more time practicing, and I've practiced on the areas of my game that I know are weak and are letting me down. So for me, it's been the short game, and chipping in particular, getting up and down. So like most of us, I don't hit greens in regulation, and that ability to get up and down maybe five times out of 10 instead of two times out of 10 is where you start to cut down from sort of, um, I, I think from a, a 12, 14 handicapper into the sort of single figure seven, eight. It's generally down to the short game, in my opinion, that separates it. The ball striking from tee to green is generally not majorly different, but it's the short game that sort of um, really separates those single figure handicappers. So that's what I'm practicing on. And I'm going to set myself a target. I want to at least drop one shot by the end of the season. Now, it's not a major jump, but at single figures, moving one or two shots at single figures is, is, is difficult. And based on the fact that I've been on a bit of a slide for the last couple of years, I think if I can go from eight to seven, I'll be pleased. In my head, I love the idea of getting down, back down to six, because that's where I was a couple of years ago. So if I can get back to six, that'd be fantastic. But I think realistically, if I can get from eight down to seven, and maintain it, because that's you know one good round, arguably, you get down to seven, but the thing is maintaining it by the end of the season. So that's the target for me. But what I want to know is what's your target? So what I want in the comments down below is what you play off now, what you're going to play, what your target is, and how you think you're going to achieve it. So in other words, what your weakness is. So it might be, I play off 20, I want to get down to 16, short game. That's what I want to see down in the comments down below. And what we're going to do, this video isn't going anywhere. It'll be saved in the memory, it'll be saved on YouTube. We'll have a bit of a revisit, but each time, I'll mention this every sort of two or three weeks, maybe a month or so, and give you an opportunity to post again down below. If any of you are achieving those results and have managed to get your handicap down, I want to hear about it. And I don't want to make a statement where if thousands of you all of a sudden start achieving something, this is going to backfire on me. But I will literally, we'll get some giveaways, and we'll get some giveaways based on a reward of that performance. So if you've done well, if you've got a couple of 
points shaved off your handicap if you start to achieve that goal then i'm sure we can sort some kind of reward out it mightn't be anything massive but and like i said hopefully thousands of people don't all of a sudden start cutting their handicap otherwise uh, i've got a bit of a problem but that's what i want to do i want to get you engaged i want to know how you're doing and at the same time you keep an eye on how i'm doing i'll report back my scores how i'm doing i think for me weekend golf has been difficult um, over the last couple of years hence the reason i've had the problem in the slide and not playing competitive golf but we do that uh, as well as a midweek comp on um which is every thursday and i'm going to make an attempt to play every thursday if i can throughout the season or as many as i possibly can so that's my aim uh, this this season going forward and i want to know yours that's it for now the video could end here i don't know how long i've been waffling on for but I'll show you a little bit round, a bit of a tour around the office. You'll notice that a lot of things are very much in place. I've got a bit of OCD about me. Everything needs to be in its right place. And uh, I'll either speak to you in a second or two with a new clip, or that'll be the end of this video. I don't know how you do that, really. Do I just be quiet? See you in a bit.